Hey booktube, it's Thea and this video is going to be my January wrap up. So for January, I have five things here, uh, three graphic, three novels and two graphic novels. Um, my ratings this month were pretty average for me. Um, nothing was really like amazing, but nothing was terrible. Um, so without further ado, let's dive into what I read for January. The first thing that I read in January is The Beautiful by Renee Audier. This is her newest release. This was our January book for um, my book club. And this is a new vampire-ish novel that takes place in 1872 in New Orleans. Um, it follows Celine Rousseau as she kind of um, is introduced to this world in New Orleans coming from France and some events happen in her family and she gets um, kind of transported there and is living in a convent with a whole bunch of other girls and she kind of meets a cast of crazy characters along the way, uh, maybe falls in love um, and kind of uh, starts learning about these murders that start happening to these women and they're like brutally murdered and like their throats are ripped out and um, you kind of learn as she learns kind of piece things together and things aren't quite as what they seem um, there's like hints of some supernatural paranormal activities going on um, I overall enjoyed it I liked the setting I loved the writing style I think Renee has a beautiful writing style and I really loved the setting of New Orleans in the 1870s it was so great it's kind of a weak spot for me um i was really in intrigued in reading like a new fresh vampire novel um since it's been a while since we've had one for me the plot was a little lackluster um and i feel like it took quite a while for it to get going and for things to really be happening um so i overall gave this three and a half stars i then picked up uh the Ishwab shades of magic the steel prince volume two knight of knives um this is the second volume in the shades of magic prequel graphic novel series if um this this series follows prince maxim who is the adopted father of kel and this is when he is a prince and you kind of learn more about his backstory and kind of the things he goes through to become king and um, the things that his father forces him to do to kind of test him. Um, this volume was better than the first one. I really enjoyed it. I did end up giving it three and a half stars um, just because I was wanting more from the series and um, more from the stories. I was so intrigued in the Knight of Knives and this like really cool competition um kind of thing and i just feel like it was really rushed and we didn't get as much as i would have loved to have um i would i could i, I mean i love the shades of magic series so i would have much preferred quite a longer graphic novel um i would have been okay with that so like personally for me it was just the fact that it wasn't long enough um and i wanted more from the story and i felt like it was rushed and there was so much they could have done with it um and it just wasn't long enough for me and so because of the short time frame i did feel it was a little rushed so that is the only reason why this is getting three and a half stars the next thing i picked up was flowers for algeron by daniel keys this is an oldie um but quite a classic and it's been on my tbr for so long um i'm glad i finally got to it this uh little guy here is quite heartbreaking at times um this follows charlie and what at the time was rated as low iq but you can kind of um figure out that it's some kind of um handicap some kind of mental handicap and um he agrees to do this surgery and experiment that is going to make him smarter and um they started by they started it with a rat named algernon who is doing amazing um and his iq starts to increase and he gets really smart and charlie wants to be smart and so he agrees to this study research experiment kind of thing um and it does work and he's just, he starts to increase and his iq gets bigger and he gets smarter and he kind of almost gets too smart for his own good his personality changes and you kind of follow him as he makes this progress and then algernon starts to deteriorate and uh regress and um charlie is worried that the same thing is going to happen to him and 
I don't want to give too much of the story away, but it um, takes an interesting, it takes a turn that kind of breaks your heart. Um, I really enjoyed this and it had some parts that were hard to read and hard to get through, but um, it was such an amazing read and um, cannot believe it took me this long to read it. Um, and I'm beating myself up that this has been on my TBR for so long and I've finally just not read it. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this and I gave it four, four and a half stars. Then I, I needed a lighter read, so I picked up Green Lantern uh, Rebirth Volume 5 Out of Time. This is the next graphic novel in the Green Lantern's Rebirth series. This volume was a lot better than the last one. Um, this is such a great volume. This just continues on with the series. You follow Jessica and Simon as they kind of battle their own demons and battle some not so great people. Um, I really enjoyed this volume as well and I gave it four stars. And the last book that I read in January, I'm actually finishing up in the next couple days, is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetys. This was another novel that was just amazing. Um, it follows Lena in Lithuania. It follows this Lithuanian girl named Lena in 1941 and um, she's living her life with her parents and her brother and all of a sudden they, um, all of a sudden the, these Soviet soldiers um, drag them from their homes and put them in cattle cars and they start um, traveling them and they have to travel in these cattle cars and um, you slowly start to build relationships with, she slowly starts to build relationships with the people that are packed into this cart, into this um, car with her and um, the trials that her and her family go through and she misses her father because they were separated and um, it's quite an interesting read. It's um, in the same kind of vein of the Holocaust. This is kind of a quieter story um, and there are some similar some similarities between um, the stories that you know of from the Holocaust and this other side of Soviet Russia and what was kind of happening with the Germans and the Soviets then. Um, and I really enjoyed this. I love Ruta Sepetti's writings. I think her writing style, I think she has a writing style that's so unique because she, her writing is so fast paced, but there's also quite a lot happening in her writing. So I don't know how to, to, to describe it. Um, I don't quite know how to describe it, but it's, it's almost like she has a writing style that would, should warrant like these like really long, dense historical fiction novels, but she does it in a, such a way that's like, you just fly through her novel. I just flew through this. Um, and I don't really know how to describe how to describe it, but I really, really am really enjoying her writing style. I love that she has these stories that she wants to tell that's not as well known um, and bring light to these unknown stories. And um, Lena is such a great role model for young girls. Um, and she's such a strong, female character and you see her battle with what's going on and why they took her and her family and trying to figure out a way to communicate with her father without getting caught but also still wanting to be a girl and she starts to maybe have feelings for a boy and she doesn't really know how to deal with these feelings and um I really, really enjoyed this and I gave it four stars. So these are the five things that I read in January. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys read for January. If you read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are well. Happy reading and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.